I'm back. Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, I know it's been a while. I've been gone for a little bit. I haven't made a video per se, but I have done some live streams recently. Um, school's just been like intense right now. And so with that and work, that's just where I've been focusing the most of my, the majority of my time on. So that's just kind of where I've been. I want to say I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm going nowhere, but I've just been up to other things. Um, I saw recently that our girl uploaded another one of her little sit down videos. So I thought, why not do a little reaction? The title is very clickbaity. It's really hard things to talk about. So I'm sure they're probably not going to be that hard for her to talk about because the girl has no shame left, apparently. So, um, yeah, I decided to do a little reaction, kick it a little old school. Um, I do have some thoughts about the Peter Mon video. I just haven't had the I don't know. I just haven't had the time or whatever to like really sit down and talk about it <clears throat> in, in front of the camera, but I am going to be doing that. Um, so look, be on the lookout for that. But without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Hey guys. Okay. So hey I'm going to be in quite some time. It's fucking cold. We're going to do Ooh. a q and A. I went on Instagram. I told you that. Good old Instagram Q and A, y'all. Good old Instagram so Q and A. We're going to go through there. I have gotten a ton of questions. I'm just like scrolling through and I'm like, who are you guys? Like you guys are amazing. So Soup's amazing. By the way, this video has 600 likes and like 1.4 thousand dislikes already. So, this. and it's only been up for like five so, hours. Yeah, let's get to this. I actually really enjoy watching these videos from my favorite YouTubers or just YouTubers in general. Even if like she does one of these favorite, like it's nice to have like that white noise sometimes in the once background. every two Plus, weeks. You know, it's good for <laughs> updates and such. So what well, updates okay, could there so possibly be? Is, if you were able to do a tour, would you? You know, I love how like P Becky is probably in the background trying to fucking sleep, and Amber is like, you know what? I know it's five in the morning, but I'm gonna go ahead and do an Instagram Q and A, and I don't care if you're in the background. Like you couldn't get up and move the camera or whatever, or like face the chair against the wall so you had like a backdrop or something like poor becky has to like sit there with the light in her fucking face like while you do this fucking q a it's so it's so weird it's so weird us that love you honestly if i was at a smaller weight and smaller I weight withstand lighter weight such energy and just like all that like walking and just like talking and standing and moving like, i would want to make it super fun for you guys what she, what would her t what would she do like she's not even personable though like she's like a giddy little five-year-old like she hides behind her like, she reminds me of like a five-year-old that like hides behind their mom's leg when they take them to kindergarten for the first time like she has she's not outgoing she's not personable she has no talent like is she gonna just do like love live mukbangs or something like no tino shade like when i remember zachary was talking about him going to see trisha on tour and i was like what is that bitch gonna do like eat cheeseburgers live and she did do that but i mean i forgot that she actually does do music videos and stuff like that so she did do some lip syncing and a little bit of dancing or whatever i mean i don't know if i would personally pay to go and see that but i mean if it was for the right price like if it's like a decent price then i would probably go and see that but if it's like but i don't know i i just don't know what amber lynn has to offer a crowd of people like she's not talented in the slightest so i'm not i'm i don't is is becky gonna do like are they gonna do like some live coloring like is it gonna be like like a live coloring show where they're gonna like color in the lines for the first time like i don't know it's fucking weird why would anyone ask that that's so weird i'm not sure what i would really do for y'all but i'm sure i would think of something but i feel like at this weight i can't obviously but if i was smaller and able to move more i would totally do it and I would request ideas from you guys on what you guys would want to see at a tour live show. Because like, you can't come up with like an idea YouTube. yourself. And That's the, she's so like, lazy, really dude. Everyone do my job for me. Out. What is the most challenging thing you have ever had to deal with? Other than <laughs> Becky's just trying to sleep in the background. Love you. Love Becky you just too. can't even so exist in this world. A really, really easy question. It's definitely just the things I went through in my childhood, neglected, my parents were drug addicts, just went through a lot of abuse, um, whether it be mental, 
I think she did. I mean, I'm, I will never take that story for her. That happened to her, I'm sure it did. And that landed me in Doesn't excuse her shitty behavior as a 28 year old adult, but. Maybe regret or are ashamed of doing. So I used to say that I was. Falsely accusing someone of rape? I high school because I was actually the first person to graduate high school out of my family in tons of generations. So I felt very proud of that. And I also used to say that I was proud of. I thought her aunt. Okay, I I don't know this for sure or whatever, but I'm pretty sure her aunt Tammy has has children that have graduated from high school. I remember reading that in a form like I remember reading that somewhere. So what that's probably a lie. I find it very hard to believe that like considering she's a descendant of Ozzy Osbourne, or she's related to Ozzy Osbourne, I find it very hard to believe that she's the only person that managed to graduate from high school. Back plus a lot more. I'm no longer proud of that accomplishment. But what am I ashamed of doing? Definitely all the weight I've gained. It has completely ruined my life, it seems like. And by the way, Becky's behind that blanket behind me. Do a little movement. No um, shit. That She's giant saying, blob in the, the background isn't a human being. Gym, we thought it was it? Twinkie. Totally. I just know that at this weight, I should not be going to no gym. I'm actually doing really well at home. Just no, that's not true. To go to bed. I actually really like doing that. I like to get my steps in. And I she like should be at the gym. She should be trying. She should be like lifting some like 10 pound weights, doing something like... I there are people. I went to the gym at my highest weight. I've seen girls just as big as her at the gym doing the damn thing. Like, that's a fucking excuse for her to not go to the gym. Why would you pay that money every month to go to a gym and not go? Like, that makes no fucking sense. Like, I'm sure there's someone there. With the amount of money you're making, I'm sure that there is someone there that has the 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 um that has the ability or the know-how to properly train you like you should have a personal trainer bitch you could hire someone to come to your house and train you like that's how much money you make and you live in kentucky which has like one of the lowest like cost of living in the country so it's like i it's it's ridiculous it's not like she's living in la and she's trying to like hire a personal trainer to come to her house like that would be like thousands of dollars a month she lives in kentucky she lives like in rural Kentucky at that. So it's probably dirt ass like cheap to find to a trainer just out there. Feel more energized from doing it because I noticed that ever since I've been up and moving more, I actually have felt more like crisper in my mind, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. Endorphins are a thing. It's definitely made me feel a lot better. So yeah, if I lose a lot more weight, I will definitely be going. You should just go to the Would gym. You consider filming weigh ins daily. No, again. please I don't. Them. I think if I did daily weigh ins, that would actually annoy people. Yeah. A lot of people it would. Like constant constant like every day Wayne video Wayne video Wayne video and I, I I don't know what I would do with that I feel like that would bore a lot of people it's like, unhealthy honestly, to do that I have people ask me would you do what I eat don't in my videos every we don't day. want it and it's just like what would I do with that just every day uploading oh what I eat today I don't think my channel would grow that way <laughs> it actually um, obviously the sad thing is that it actually would because she was doing that and that's how her channel did grow because the truth is that she doesn't really show us what she eats so it's like controversial in and of itself because to be 550 whatever pounds or whatever she weighs now or whatever she's claiming to weigh now she has to eat a lot of she has to eat a lot of food so like we know that like in the past when she's done her what i eat in a day videos it's been bullshit because it's clear as day you gained like 80 pounds or you gained more than 100 pounds so it's like we know that's not the truth um i don't know who these trolls are that are asking her to do what weigh in every day videos or what i eat in a day videos but like i think it's hilarious that she's even entertaining the fact like she's even entertaining it like girl don't don't do it it's not healthy for you it's like it's not healthy for anyone to weigh in every day so yeah, i can do random weigh-ins and i can do random what i eat today videos that'll those things will never go away why are you guys still drinking sodas not trying to be rude or anything no definitely not a rude question i drink diet soda i don't think that's something i will be stopping anytime recently or recent it's, i don't get the whole diet soda thing i honestly don't make your edges sorry guys anytime anytime soon I need to go Becky's like, God, you're an idiot. I'm drinking water about 90% of the time, but I will still have myself a diet soda, and I'm gonna keep doing that. It's This isn't an all-or-nothing approach. It should be. Just... When you're 27 years old and you're 560 pounds, it should be all-or-nothing at that point. Like, it shouldn't be a lackadaisical, whimsy, like, I'll do it if I feel like it. No, you should be doing it because you want to survive. Someone asked 
says, why don't you just follow the doctor now way? 1200 calories and exercise. It works for them. It works so for anyone who would do that. Big reasons why it works for them is because they're under doctor and professional supervised care. And <laughs> she acts as if they check in every day with doctor now. Bitch, if you watch the show, they come in like once a month. Like, like you could do with your doctor. I'm sure if you sat down with your doctor and, f and found a weight loss program or you came up with a weight loss regimen, regim regimen that um, you, you could do a doctor supervised weight loss program too. It's not that hard. Like, eat 1500 calories a day, come in every month, check in on you, how you feeling, what you're doing. You feeling a little weird, all right, let's send you in for some blood work. Like, doctor now ain't doing anything special. He ain't doing anything abnormal than an, every other doctor on this planet does. In fact, the majority of bariatric patients that go on that on that weight loss for program, it's like the same thing. It's, it's just different iterations of the same diet. Like, so I don't know why. She's acting as if it's like this super controversial thing that like, people go on a weight loss program that is low calorie and low carb. Like, as if, like, we haven't been doing this for 20 fucking years. Like, the Atkins, all these other low carb, high protein diets, low calorie diets, this shit's been around for fucking ever. It's probably been around before I was even fucking born. Like, so for her to think that, like, she's on, like, a shake diet or something, like, it's not that, bitch. Like, get, oh, I can't. I hate, it's, and it's honestly, it's just an excuse to not try. That's what it feels like to me. They are working their way towards getting an amazing weight loss surgery. Now it's amazing. I love how before it was dangerous and now it's amazing. For everyone to see. When you're put under those predicaments, I'm sure it is 50 million times easier to follow. No, it's not. It's not easier. I've we've it, we've I've read interviews of the p people who've been on that show. In fact, a lot of them end up not getting surgery because a lot of them can never like fully comply to Dr. Now's orders. So for her to sit here and pretend that, like, because TLC is following you around with a camera crew, mind you, they don't step in. They don't really help you. <laughs> like, they don't, like, they don't slap food out of your hand or anything. Like, if you're going to sit there and eat the fucking pizza, they'll film you eating the pizza because, honestly, it's ratings gold for, like, a 600-pound person to be, like, not complying to the diet and trying to save their own life. So I don't know why she has this idea in her mind that th they somehow have it easier because they're on a TV show girl like and you can even talk to the you can even read the interviews of people that are on the biggest loser like if i mean if you want to go with like shit that's dangerous that shit's dangerous but going on a 1300 calorie or 1200 calorie a day diet not that controversial it's not that you're not gonna die like you're you're not gonna die and you have a doctor right amber so go and see your doctor if you're really that concerned chant i bet you won't though oh a 1200 calorie weight loss plan because it, 12, it 12, it's like 1200 is so dangerous already, like they would have done it already they wouldn't have had to like go on a show or anything like i'm not knocking bitch you're on a show sort of i love how she acts as if she's like above it like she's like, bitch you're kind of on a show yourself you've 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 created this platform for yourself the only difference is that your platform was about gaining weight well tlc's is about actually losing the weight like yours is about exploiting your weight and exploiting your health while theirs is about um taking it back and reclaiming their health it's able to it's able do it because that's like amazing and for me right now if i just woke up one day and i was just like okay i'm gonna eat 1200 calories i will fail and i think that's what a lot of people aren't understanding for someone like me who has binged her whole life and has over ate her whole life and who has turned to food her whole life she can't just up and completely change everything about herself in one day. And I've tried that, trust me. I've woken up and I'm just like, I'm just gonna eat healthy, I'm only gonna eat 1400 calories. Like I've done it, I have done it. And look at where it's gotten me, it hasn't gotten me anywhere. I love, she's, dude, she's such a quitter. Her, ah, my patience is so low with her. She literally acts as if she knows all the answers to everything in her life. Bitch, everything you've done up until now has gotten you to this weight. That is correct. But let's not sit here and pretend that you were following a diet strictly as you make it seem that you were. Like, yes, you lost 89 pounds one time. Cool. You got down to like 300 and something pounds. Like, you were still ex massively overweight. But, like, for you to sit here and pretend that, like, you somehow have the master code or the master... Like, that's what really gets me with her is that she's... 
she acts as if all of these other people out here that have had these tried and true um, products and these tried and true results are somehow wrong and she's somehow right. And that's why she's not going to be successful in her weight loss because she refuses to relinquish any kind of control over her diet because she has to be in complete control at all times. Yes, you probably have, yes, you probably have binge eating disorder, whatever, bitch. Like, I don't know, I don't care. But like, for you to sit here and pretend that like, because you are somehow this special case. Like you have, like, why has every, why have so many other people been able to overcome it then? Like, if you're gonna, like, you're gonna really sit here and pretend that, like, the people on TLC don't have some kind of eating disorders. Like, you're gonna sit here and pretend that the people on my sex and my life somehow don't have probably the same eating disorder that you have. Are all the other thousands or tens of thousands or fucking? I think we're in hundreds of thousands of patients that have undergone weight loss surgery. Or just people in general who have managed to become more become a normal BMI from being morbidly obese somehow were unable to fix it and to like control themselves enough. It's because you refuse to put in the work, and you sitting here and doing an Instagram Q and A isn't going to solve anything either. So like, I don't understand why she refuses to take any kind of advice, like any kind of advice. I know she doesn't take any advice from her. I don't even know if she sees a therapist anymore. To be real, it doesn't sound like it because. When she was seeing the therapist, all she did was talk about it. It doesn't sound like she's seeing her doctor anymore either. So it's like, I don't know what... It's like she's waiting for something to happen. Like, she's waiting for a... I don't know, like, for God to come down and just, like, wave his finger or place his hand on her forehead and, like, magically make her skinny. Like, it, it's not going to happen because you refuse to do any of the work. Have you considered moving somewhere else, even in the same state? A change may help a lot. Moving has been something... I know she I wants to move. I was talking to someone about this, about her wanting now, to move. I think it's mainly because I love just having my own space. That's something that I thought I would never say, but it's just really fun. And I wouldn't really say that I like the town I live in. I kind of hate it because there's literally nothing to do here. And to do anything, we have to drive pretty freaking far. And it's just like sometimes... You just want to hop in your car and not have to drive I... freaking 50 years to get somewhere. <laughs> but the thing is, I love this house. My animals love this house. And this house has been my home for over a year and a half now. It's going to be, yeah it's, yeah, it's been a year and a half. And it's just like, I know leaving it will be hard. And I love living with my friends. They're your only it's, friends. It's fun. <laughs> Every day is just like, you're hanging out with your friends. Like, who would have want that? <laughs> Literally, if you didn't live with your friends, you would see no one. I want to start doing more mukbangs. I enjoy them. I have people who message me and say that they sit down at home. And they're disgusting motherfuckers for doing that and encouraging you to continue this. That's what's up. That's the true tea. People sitting down and requesting her to eat food on camera are fucked up. They're fucked up individuals. I don't give a fuck. People do mukbangs, but I find that strange because people have to eat to survive. She that's a she has that motto where it's like she eat she lives to eat. She doesn't eat to live. She lives to eat. Like cuz she said that multiple times in the past where she says um people have to eat to survive. Not I mean yes, I technically do we have to like have some kind of caloric intake to like survive every day? Sure, we do. But like you live to eat. There is a complete different like you wake up every day with the thought of what am I going to eat next? You don't eat to live. Like, you don't eat the healthy foods, you don't control your diet, you don't do any of the sorts to, like, make sure you have, like, a long, a like, a, lo a longevity to your, like, your health and your life. You, you live to eat. Like, that, I, I hate it when she says that whole, like, so people have to survive, eat to survive. Like, no shit. Like, but you're not out here, like, fucking hunting buffalo and, like, fucking skinning deer or whatever to, like, cook on the fucking fire back at your cave. Like, get out of here. There and do huge quantities of food anymore and mukbangs like my first mukbang oh my gosh this was like way over two years ago oh my gosh it's been a hot minute my first mukbang was a whole bag of hot cheetos like two frozen <laughs> burritos i had double yep. chocolate like i went all out but my recent mukbang was literally half of a subway sandwich and the one before that was chicken okay broccoli. I also want to point out, because people were getting all kinds of crazy about her, like, people getting upset about her, about the Subway sandwich. Literally, see, this is the thing that gets me with her. She doesn't tell the full fuck, she tells so many half-truths and so many lies on her channel. Okay, 
she got that sandwich, right? First of all, why are you, I don't even know why you're getting those sandwich. Get a sandwich in a tub. Get a sub in a tub. Like, that's way better for you. That's way healthier for you. You don't need that. You don't need the Italian herbs and cheese bread, okay? Get a sub in a tub, first of all. Second of all, to sit here and pretend that you didn't eat that whole sandwich at that one time is bullshit. Okay, you showed us eating, you showed us eat, you eating half the sandwich. On Instagram and on Snapchat, she talked about how she ate the rest of that sandwich an hour later. Bitch, you, and we all know you didn't get up and walk anywhere. She, she doesn't show everything that she does. And I'm not saying that she needs to, but then she comes on here and like lies about what she, do, like what she's doing behind the scenes. And it's like, bitch, it's evident. Like it's clear that that's not the case and potatoes, the one before that. I don't remember what it was actually, <laughs> but I don't sit there and just eat huge quantities of quantities of food. What I do eat though, is what I would eat off a of camera as well. So it's just another way for no. you to get See, content that's for bullshit. you guys and videos that you do enjoy. You literally didn't do that with Subway. Talk to you guys. I don't know, I'm rambling now. Someone asked, when will you show your bare legs on a video? That'll give you tons of money, you know. Oh God, please no. That's a troll, that's a troll question. For money. I know a lot of people think that. Trust me, I get it. Like, if I did like a bikini we do. Haul, I would get so many views. I have had that would be brain where fucking like, vile. It would like, be so easy for me <laughs> to make a video and just get so many views. But that's not really the point of what Why I'm doing, doing here. This? I'm not trying to <laughs> show my body like that in a It's like her neck very, is collapsing very, into very her. negative light. Plus, I'm ashamed. That's another big thing. And obviously, I'm ashamed. I'm surprised. Like, I, I didn't think she, myself. like, had any shame How left in her. How anyone be this weight and be happy with their body? Like, it's not going to happen. And another thing is, that would just cause so much more cruelty. I don't need that. Like, I cruelty? Cruelty. Vibe. Someone asked, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? So, this year Positive vibes only. I hate people that act like that. The Thanksgiving festivities, which is usually... Am I the only one that's thinking now that she's hosting all of these things because she, like, physically cannot go to these things, events anymore that are, like, not at her house? So I feel like maybe there's, like, a huge, giant push to, like, get people to come to their house to do these, to do these things because... She just can't do it anymore. Like she, she doesn't have the stamina or the lung capacity or the beats per minute in her heart to like survive walking around at other people's homes. She doesn't want to be uncomfortable there. She can't have a blanket on her at all times. It's too embarrassing. I just think there's a lot of factors into like why now all of a sudden there's this giant push to start hosting all of this stuff at her at their house. And I think that comes from her and her size. It's like a really huge dinner, like that's what everyone does. Sorry but if yeah, I keep moving, my, my feet are so cold so I keep rubbing them. Tons of Becky's family is coming and it's gonna be awesome. Me, Eric, Ricky, Becky, we're all super Tons excited. of, they and said and the thing about, they said the same thing about Halloween, there was like four other people the there. Ricky is gonna be cooking most of it because he is the Of course, Ricky. So, dude, I when does Ricky ever get a break in that house? Like, when does Ricky ever get a fucking break? He's the only one that can cook. He's the only one that cleans. He's the only one that does yard work. He's the only one that works. Like, fuck, dude. Ricky deserves so much better. I mean, I hate being like, eh, he deserves... But it's like, dude, sometimes I'm just like... He seems like a decent person. He seems like a nice dude. Go lucky dude. Likes to go out and do things. He may have a couple of opinions that are a little... Eh, but you know what? Like, he seems like a pretty chill dude. And it sucks that, like, he seems to be the workhorse of that entire house. Like, of that entire unit. He's the one who gets stuck doing everything all the time. I would ruin everything. But obviously, I'm going to help when needed. I'm going to be, you know, buying some of Yeah, food. no one wants to eat and, your fucking um, baby bird vomit food. But that's We've seen your seed mushrooms. Sense. Someone said, last time you put Lexapro, you were in bed for weeks. What's different now? I think that if someone wants to ask me a question or give me, like, facts about my life... <laughs> They should probably have their facts straight. In no way am I trying to be rude or like be like, you're wrong, boo boo, but you kind of are wrong. <laughs> um, last time I quit Lexapro, I only quit it for, it was about six days and I wasn't just up in my bed for weeks. That doesn't make any sense. The last time I was up in my you bed were, for weeks, though. was actually while she was in her bed for like literal days. Like li literally she said that she hadn't left her room in five days. Like, and going, getting up and being driven to Walmart, I'm not even gonna count that. Like, bitch, be real. Like, you, you weren't going out to eat like you've been going, like, come on, girl. I was on Lexapro. So, that never happened. 
Someone asked, did you contact your doctor about the congestive heart failure? Bitch, we can go back in the vlogs and see that that I happened. I did, and she told me it is definitely just because I am gaining weight rapidly, which she said is due to me binge eating and eating so many calories at once. So you she didn't see the doctor? So many tips on how I can lose weight and stop this from happening, and it's definitely not congestive heart failure. So just stop putting negative thoughts in people's heads. Like, calm down. I, hate I mean, I'm very concerned with the fact that a doctor, I don't know. I mean, I didn't go to medical school or anything like that, but I find it highly suspect that a doctor with a patient your size exhibiting your symptoms did not want you to come in at least. At least for an EKG. I find that it highly suspect. Highly suspect. Okay, like I know doctors have pretty good malpractice insurance, but girl, if she's online telling you that you don't, she's not concerned for you or did it, like, I don't know. Like, you, it, either that doctor sucks and you need a new doctor or you're full online. Because, like, I, I don't know, dude. I find that extremely suspect that, like, you would call in. Girl, I could call my doctor right now. I could call my doctor's office right now and I said, yeah, you know, I'm having um, some trouble breathing. You know what the first thing they would tell me to do? Go to the ER. That would be the first thing that they would say is you need to go to the emergency room. Second thing would be we're going to schedule a follow-up appointment. Um, I want you to request any of the labs or anything that you've d done at the ER to be sent to, the, to, my doc to my office so that way when you come in and we do a follow-up, I can see what's going on and then we can go from there. I find it... Ex I don't know, dude. I find it highly suspect that a doctor with a 560 pound patient is getting messages about shortness of breath and it's like, mm, it's fine, you just, need to, you just need to lose a little bit of weight. I mean, yeah, you do need to lose some weight, but I, fi I don't know, dude. I would, I don't know. I would think that you'd be hospitalized to be real because of your size. I think they'd want to do like a nuclear stress test on you. Th at the very least do an EKG. They would want to do a stress test on you, but they can't do a manual one because I don't think a treadmill would support you. So they'd have to do a nuclear one where they do like a, a medicine, a medi um, a pharma, I can't think of the word right now. A medicine induced like stress test or whatever where they, I don't know what the drug's called, but they like pump it into your body and it causes your heart to beat faster. And then they have someone in there with like an ultrasound and all that shit to like track your heart and make sure everything's going right and it can withstand any of the stress and the impact it's going on. But I don't know, dude. I find that very, very, very suspect. Like how convenient that the doctor's like, mm, it's fine, you just need to lose a little weight. People, like in the comments, diagnose other YouTubers. Like I'll be watching like my favorite YouTuber and like in the comments, like they'll be like, oh, this person has da da da, this person has da da da. And I'm just like, how do you know? Did you run the test? I don't think it's that much of a stress for people to think that you have some kind of heart disease. Like, I don't think it's that much of a stretch, okay? Like, if someone, if you come on here and you're talking about how you have pain in your arm, and I think it would be a stretch for someone to be like, oh, you probably have, like, basal cell sarcoma or something. Like, I think that would be a stretch. But I think it's not that much of a stretch for us to sit here and be like, oh, a girl that has a really unhealthy diet and has had an unhealthy diet for the majority of her adult life and her, child, and her childhood would, um somehow have some kind of heart disease going on. I don't think it's that much of a stretch. I don't think it's that much of a stretch. Next person asks, which yours and Becky's favorite color season is Don't animal. care. So my favorite color is maroon. Don't care. I like pink. I like don't care. Colors. Becky's favorite color is seafoam green. Don't care. They also said favorite season. Both of blanket our weather. Is autumn. <laughs> Check out my winter Instagram winter about my blanket winter weather winter post. Season. It gets so cold, so I'm just gonna scratch that and just stick with autumn. Favorite animal for Becky is an otter, and favorite animal for me is probably like a cat. It's interesting that like I love them both. your Someone favorite animals are like dogs Someone and cats, but you like Someone you don't give a fuck about yours. Tip: I honestly hate giving this advice because I mean, look at me. <laughs> but this is common sense. This is science. Just is it common sense, below. bitch? If it was that much common sense, then why haven't you done it? <laughs> like, like it's that common, guys. It's that easy to do. Is it easy to do or is it not easy? See, that's what I don't understand. Like, is it easy for you to do this or is it not? Because you've said over and over again, like, you couldn't even do it and you wouldn't try to do a calorie restriction without being supervised by a doctor, which is, like, so dumb. But then also, you're sitting here and you're saying that, like, it's easy to do. So, like, why not just do it then if it's that easy? Deficiency. You need to have a caloric deficiency. Uh, deficiency. It's that plain and simple. No matter which way you slice or dice it, that is... Her hand is huge. 
ways to lose weight, honestly. And I do want to say, you can succeed in that with intuitive eating. Intuitive eating, bitch. Calories, Dude, it's like a broken record. Don't know how much is in certain things. Neither do so you. Obviously, if you don't know, it's a good thing. She, you don't up, either, bitch. Because if you knew, you wouldn't be 560 pounds. So she refuses to relinquish any kind of control over her diet. You know how many calories is in said food. You don't. And that goes a lot with people who have been calorie counting for years. For me, it's literally been a decade. And it hasn't worked. That's and it hasn't worked. Is it everyone? Is it everyone else, or is it her? Like I, that's what I don't get. Like she sits here, and we're we're believed to. We have to assume that somehow it's the world that's wrong and Amber's right. But it's like, bitch, it's not working for you. So fucking change. Look at where I'm at, and that goes into a whole other subject where a lot of people are like, you say you know how to lose weight, but why aren't I just you? Said that. <laughs> you guys. I know the tools to lose weight. I know the tools to lose weight, 100%. It's like but saying that, like, you read a book on, like, heart surgery, so therefore you know how to, like, perform heart surgery. Like, it's not... that. Like, you may understand the concepts behind how to lose weight, but if you don't practice them and perfect them, then you obviously don't really understand it. Like, you've... You, you, it sounds... It's like, it's like when you read something the first time or, like, when you're taking a class for the first time and you're introduced to a new concept... And it may look familiar, but that doesn't mean you know how to actually apply it, right? So, like, it's, she can't apply any of the logic that she claims to know. So, for her to sit here and pretend that, like, she knows, but she can't apply it, then, bitch, you don't know. You actually have no ideas behind, or any thought or reason behind how to lose weight. Because you can't apply any of that logic or critical thinking towards yourself. Use those tools because I suffer with a food addiction. I suffer with binge eating. So if I wasn't a food addict- But you don't do anything to change eat, it. I would be losing weight and I would be feeling amazing. I would be looking good and feeling <laughs> it's good. It's like all of these different things as to like are just excuses behind why she can't lose weight. It's like, if I wasn't a woman, if I wasn't 27 years old, if the sky wasn't blue, if I didn't have a braid in my hair, if I actually wore cute clothing, if I didn't spend all my money at tour, like there's so many reasons behind why she can't lose weight when it's just simple. It's all what you put in your mouth and what you decide to like do for your exercise. That's all it is. But I suffer I'm already over this. Weight. I'm like so I over this right now. I do have a goal weight, Let's just like try to make it longer. But I figured 170 is a pretty good number too. I'll probably never get there. I don't care about any of this. Yeah. We're skipping. <sighs> well. What did we learn from the new video? We probably learned about nothing. It's the same old, same old with her, it seems. I don't think anything's gonna change. I think the biggest shock to me was the fact that she's having such issues breathing and everything, and the doctor was like so nonchalant about like not giving a fuck. Like that to me was kind of very surprising. But um, thank y'all so much for tootling. Tootling. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Um, I will be having more videos coming up soon, I promise. I just have, I have two papers and an exam on Monday, and so that's just, like, where most of my energy has been going in. I haven't forgotten about y'all. I love y'all so much. Um, I will be back around soon, but, um, thanks so much. And until next time, toodles!